Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an awesome day. Look, I'm not going to be before you long today, but I just wanted to kind of touch uh, bases with you to share something with you that I think is so important. Uh, before I do, I want to remind you, if you haven't taken advantage of the Rapid Change Breakthrough uh, offer, uh, which is for a limited time only and the last time we will ever offer it, you definitely want to do that. Uh, you get a chance to work with me three sessions, uh, working with me for less than the price of one breakthrough session. Um, definitely click that link, uh, enroll, and let's make something exceptional happen in your life. If you haven't gotten book number 23, Merging Souls, Healing Hope and Restoration in Modern Marriage, the link is there as well. Look, I am a firm believer uh, that at some point after we have completed our journey here on earth, we will have to give an account to the Creator as to what we did with what we were given. I am a firm believer that everyone has a gift no matter what. I have had the pleasure, and I do consider it a pleasure, to work with people from all backgrounds, mental states, emotional states. Uh, I've worked with people with autism, people with Down syndrome. Uh, people going through depression, people from wealthy backgrounds, people from impoverished backgrounds, uh, people from traumatic childhoods, and the list goes on. The one thing I can tell you is I've yet to encounter a person who does not have a unique gift. Uh, a lot of times it's been hidden and suppressed and, and buried underneath a bunch of other things, but it's there. And it's that gift that is the gateway to you making an unbelievable and lasting impression on this world. And the thing is, most people will never truly actualize their full potential. Uh, it was Dr. Miles Monroe that said that the cemetery is the wealthiest place on the planet. Why? Because there you will find books unwritten, businesses not started, uh, relationships not developed and on and on and on down the line things that you were meant to do and designed to do and had the potential and capacity to do that you just set on that you just let pass by that you didn't fulfill one of the reasons that you hear me say at the at the end of every speech video lecture book is that I live my life on full so that when I die, I die on E. What, I'm, what am I saying? I'm saying I'm not taking anything with me. I'm leaving it all out there. I am a firm believer that at the end of life, you're going to have to give an account to the creator for what you did, with what you were given, and that you will be introduced to the version of you that you were designed to, to become that God, the creator, however you want to refer to it, is going to sit up and say, this is what you should be at this point. And my thing is, I want to be an identical version of what I'm, what I'm introduced to. When God introduced me to my best self, I want me to be identical to my best self. And, 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 and what does that mean? That means that I have to activate and turn loose my potential i have to unleash my potential and i have to invest myself in being the best person i can possibly be every day every hour every second it's that important it is imperative that you wake up your potential that you wake up your capacity that you in yourself decide that I'm going to do something exceptional in this world, that I'm going to make a lasting impression on this world, that I'm going to leave a legacy that speaks of me long after I'm gone, that I'm going to be the best version of myself each and every day. I'm taking everything I have and investing in being something powerful and, and, and forceful and, and, and necessary in this world.
that I'm not going to fold, that I'm not going to just lay down, that I'm not going to surrender, that I'm not going to retreat, that I'm not going to give up. I'm going to make an impression. I'm going to access my potential and turn it loose on the world. That's my challenge to you. That's what I'm calling each and every person who watches this video. Share it with someone you love and challenge them to do the same thing. It is time for us to start living at the level of our design. And it is time for us to start accessing and actualizing our full potential. It's time to stop meandering through the maze of mediocrity and average and feeling that that's enough. You were designed for so much more. You have a capacity for so much more. It's time to start living at the level of your design. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. As I always say, I live my life on full so that I die on E. My challenge is to you to do the same. On that note, I'm out of here. You have an unbelievable Special day. announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Talk Real about talk, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.